our afternoons together. <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Why did you have to take her away from us? I'm sorry. I mean, I knew it was gonna finish sometime, but we spoke there would be a little bit more. I mean, it was only eight seasons, just one more season or maybe two. Was it that much to ask? Every afternoon when I saw Helen, I would be in such a happy place. I really don't know how I'm gonna live without them. There's been a problem with the music, I see, but hey, everybody, how are you? I mean, the show might be dead, but we're still gonna meet here at this convention, right? Yes? Who's with me? We're still gonna keep the show alive. Are you with me? Yes? With Bloody Night, the show will not die. Yeah!
Are we ready? Let's welcome on stage Charles, Charles Michael Davies, Michael Malarkey, Matt Davis, Nathan Buzonich, and Joseph Morgan. loss is my gain, so. <laughs> Thank you for having us. We, we did prepare a dance routine to that music, but uh, I, I got too nervous just before we went on, and I said, I can't do it, guys, it's just stand there. I forgot how funny you are, bro. I always say you're the funniest on set, and, and people don't believe me now. Hopefully I know, and now. I've paid you continuously for <laughs> years, and served us both well. <laughs> How you guys doing all the way at the back? Good. For those of you who have bad eyesight, we are real, this is us. They haven't hired actors that look similar to Matt Davis, Joseph Morgan, and Michael Malarkey. Trying to stoop a few people at the back. I think it's them. <laughs> From our side, and I think from the side of all of you here now in the in this room, uh, thank you for coming. But Joseph, thank you so much for coming. Should we start with the first first panel? Joseph, I'm staying with you. The rest, thank you. We'll see you thank around. You. Big, thank you very much. Thank you guys. You get old so quickly, I promise you. Have you seen the line of people? Relax your hands. Hi, Joseph. Hi. Hi. I'm Anna. I'm from Barcelona. I made this question uh, the last year. Sorry, my English sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, this question, I made this question the last year to Charles and Daniel. And now I want to know your opinion and your answer. In fact, uh, tomorrow when um, Charles is coming, you can talk about with him about the question. Well, what's the question? <laughs> It's a hell of a build-up. <laughs> no, I'm kind of nervous and excited. And yeah, I'm, sorry, sorry. What is the actual question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna read it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, you make me a little nervous. Likewise. <laughs> sorry. Um, what is it like to be really attractive? <laughs> If you see me in the morning, 
Like today I'm quite jet lagged. At 4 a.m. when I can't get back to sleep and I'm trying to find my way to, you know, to the bathroom and I look up in the mirror like, oh, God. I'll make it stop. Uh, no, I, um, I, I think that's, you know, that's a point of view. Be, you know, attractive is, um, uh, every, everybody finds something different attractive, I think. So, I, I, I don't know, I think, um, Get asked them? You know, I, 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 I don't know how to answer that. You, you know, there are things, there are things that, that, that uh, I find beautiful in the world that, that other people don't. And, and so, um, you know, on the show, they make everybody look attractive because they have beautiful lighting and they have a team of hair and makeup and they have uh, visual effects to smooth our skin out after we've been, you know. So, like, really, it's 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 smoke and mirrors, you know. Half of it. it's, it, it's illusion, but but thank you for, for the You're welcome. And, and and the awkward question. <laughs> thank you. What do I think about Ian becoming a father? I, th I think it's great, you know? I think he'll make a great father. He's a lovely, generous human being, and I think he'll make a wonderful father. Please keep quiet, it's okay. We're... Thank you so much. You're welcome. And kiss one. Yeah. Um, you could have asked any question, and that's what <laughs> you've, yes. you've chosen to ask. Excellent, good. The world needs to know. <laughs> um, I have to think about it now. I'm, I'm making fun of your question, but then I'm like, what would I do? Oh, it's a tough one. Um, I'd probably marry Charles, because he's very tidy. He keeps a very tidy <laughs> dressing room. And, and he's very charming, and uh, you know, very clean. Uh, and then probably, um, but then I have to kill one of them. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. You can't you can't ask me which one of my friends I would kill. <laughs> Probably Gillies. Or maybe me. Thank you, I love you. Thank you. Hi. With the show, that will be the you know, if we do a convention, that will be the scene that we play on the on the screen. You know, uh, so uh, yeah, probably myself. Que le gustaría besarse a sí mismo. I think I avoided that one successfully, didn't I? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, Joseph. I'm Hello. Elena, and not Gilbert. I wish. Uh, okay, here goes. Um, how is it working with uh, special effects? Like when you do like this and you push someone, someone to like the end of the room? Or oh anything? yeah, okay, so it kind of takes a lot of time, you know? So like some things we have a wire, you, yeah. you, you know, and we'll jump down from a balcony or something and you're on a wire. So for me, I like to do Basically, anything that's kind of cool and fun, I like to do myself. And anything that's like Klaus being thrown into a bookcase or something, I let my stuntman do that. <laughs> so that's, he's called Jeremy, he's really nice. He's been my stuntman since the beginning. I say, this is you, Jeremy. Like Klaus being thrown through a staircase. You're up, Jeremy. Yes, it looks really cool in like the, the program and everything, but then, I don't know, when, when you so, do it. <laughs> yeah, because, so like, let me give you an example. You know, the characters can move very fast yeah. from one, uh, side of a space to another. Yeah. So in reality, what we what happens is we play the scene, and then someone who is behind camera says to everyone, "Freeze!" and all the actors freeze, and then they say, "Vamp!" and then the character who who moves fast, like say it's me, does something like this, <laughs> and then they go action, and everyone over here goes like. Now he's over there, you know? And then what they do is they speed it up in, in post-production. For, for a little bit, they tried to change the way that we did it, and they tried to make us all walk like this. <laughs> for some reason, because the legs looked funny when they sped it up, but uh, that didn't last long because we all, 
would laugh too much. It, they couldn't. <laughs> me and Gillies thought it was ridiculous. You know, it's like a bride walking down the aisle. You know? <laughs> so uh, they they stopped doing that after a while. Anything that makes us laugh too much, they like they they have enough after a while. They're like, no, it's not worth it. It's taking too much time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ha explicado la manera como graban las escenas donde tiene que correr muy rápido y que cuando hace las acciones difíciles le da al especialista para no hacerse daño. That's definitely not. <laughs> I'm not going to do all <laughs> You've got to do the walk. Que cuando inicialmente tenían otra manera de andar. You want to do the walk again while I say it in Spanish? <laughs> no, no. This is all you. My part's done. <laughs> Que inicialmente cuando grababan las escenas uh, para que se tenía que correr rápido, uh, decían parad, todo el mundo se quedaba congelado y él corría hacia uh -huh. el otro lado. Uh -huh. yeah, you agree. <risa> y después uh, intentaron varias maneras, una de las cuales era hacer los pasitos cortos, pero vieron que no funcionaba. Exactamente. Exactamente. <risa> Next question. Which is my favorite scene? To perform in the whole series. In the series? Yeah. I think I answered that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, I mean, I can tell you again. <laughs> I tell you a different scene that was my favorite. Well, I can change my question if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, one more scene that I really loved was in the. Uh, in the end of season three when they do the trial of Klaus Michelson and uh, um, basically they all put their case against me and then I have a long, long speech. Basically the scene where it's just me talking for a long time <laughs> is what I'm saying. When everybody else shuts up finally <laughs> and they just let me talk for like two minutes. Uh, no, but that scene was very fun because it was like uh, a lot of levels in the speech and um, uh, Charles just had to sit there and listen the whole time. <laughs> so he learned a lot, he said. He wouldn't admit that, but he, he did. He's always taking notes. Tell him, get your notebook out, Charles. Come on, you can learn something here. Thank you. Thanks. Es mi favorito es al final de la tercera temporada donde hay un juicio y que es un largo monólogo de él que le gustan todos, todos sus monólogos, pero que ese le gustó porque había muchos cambios de registro. Muy bien. Levels. Sí. Hola. Quiero preguntarte qué piensas sobre Caroline después de la carta de amor. Y si te gustaría la posibilidad de que Klaus y Caroline estén juntos. La carta de amor, ¿quieres decir el final de la carta de Vampire Diaries? Sí. ¿Crees que eso fue una carta de amor? Bueno, la carta de amor se dice con cuando lo hagas. A love letter where he gives her three million dollars. A lot of connotations could be made about that. I don't think they should just be together because it's boring. Like, there's no drama. There should always be conflict, you know. So, the reason why in Vampire Diaries season one was so successful, I think, is because. Elena and Damon couldn't be together, but everybody kind of wanted them to be together, right? So I think if you start season five of the originals and, and Caroline comes and they're just together, where's the drama, you know? <laughs> there should be drama. I just, I, I want there to be, uh, whatever happens, if she comes, if she doesn't come, there needs to be uh, conflict and drama. So. I don't know if it will happen, but if it does, it should be, she should be really angry with him, or he should be with her, or something should happen so that the scenes have some fire, you know? Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later, eh? Thank you. Between uh, Jenna and Alaric, felt natural. Season two came along and all of a sudden I was kind of like, hey, Alaric and, and Jenna are getting it out. And uh, it, that felt, that didn't feel as organic as it felt with, with Jody. So we spent all of season six developing that relationship with Jody. And so I, you know, obviously wanted to get married to her. So I, I think I felt a, a stronger emotional connection to the Jody character. 
Thanks, I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Que si, si tuviera que escoger, uh, se casaría con Jody porque sur. From the show? Yes. I, I would play Elijah. I like Elijah's suits. He's got good suits. Oh, hi. Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Hello. Gabriela. And my question is, um, how did it feel, you know, like transforming? You know, like seeing Alaric transforming, you know, all throughout the whole show. Yeah, I, I loved I loved seeing his progression. I, it became a it became hard over time though because his Alaric's life is actually very hard. It's very difficult, you know, and so it's a difficult character to play over over time. I wish it would have gone a, a bit of a different direction towards the end of the show, but you know he survived and he saved his kids, so it was a uh, it was a long journey for Alaric. Oh, and can I ask? Another quick question. Uh, let me translate this one and then we'll try the second part. Um, uh, lo que me ha gustado más de hacer de, de Alaric, que lo he disfrutado mucho durante toda la serie, que siempre había momentos que costaban un poco más, que la parte final, donde tenía que ser un padre, es lo que le costó más empatizar con eso. What's the request? Oh, um, and what was the most difficult scene for you to film? The most difficult scene for me was the last scene of season three, when Lark dies and Damon's there sitting next to him there in the crypt and he walks out and he sees all of his friends out there waiting for him. So that was the hardest scene for me to shoot. Okay, thank you, I love you. Everybody shouts slowly on set, you know, like, you it's so what if it's the middle of the night? You that's know what? that's I, creepy. I should FaceTime, but we FaceTime regularly, so... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'm just saying, they did clap for him. <laughs> just I'm saying. Fine. It's fine. I'm fine with that. It's, it's more just, okay, Joseph, you tell me if this is accurate, okay? Look, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Klaus. Does he like that? He has kind of a, a war kind of kind of a... Always does it! It's like a Robin Williams in the birthday. It always does it. It stops. Bang! Hello! <laughs> and he's on point. <laughs> it's his gift. And you've seen it more than I have. Oh, I love it. <laughs> every moment, every time he does it. Yeah. Sends shivers up my spine. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, no, no, absolutely no. I, had, I don't have any any impressions of, uh, of fellow castmates to offer. Uh, but I really enjoyed that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was something I'm going to take home with me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that was amazing. Oh, but, but, uh, wait a second. What about the time that you hit the one of the crew members' cars, who was the biggest guy on set. Oh, that's not a funny thing. <laughs> that was funny for me. Okay, so Joseph, one morning, accidentally hit this gentleman's car, who works on our crew. But so, I... <laughs> <laughs> so we, we worked a really hard week, and I was really tired. So I, I drove all the way to the horse park where we shoot, and uh, I, I was talking, you know, on Bluetooth to my friend in the UK at the same time, and I stopped the car, and I thought I put it in reverse. Put it in reverse. But obviously, I didn't know I was going to drive, and so we were both static, and I just went into him, very, you know, seriously dent the car, and this guy got out who was like this, and this. He was massive. Yeah. And I was like, hey. I'm so sorry. I have insurance. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, it was kind of terrifying. And then it took ages because I had to be on the phone to insurance. And, and he was kind of okay about it, but he was the biggest guy on set. He's the biggest human I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and and the, whole, the whole day, Nate was winding me up like, it's going to be a fight after Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey Joseph, going wrong, so. I just went up to him and I said, you're not scared of him in any way. <laughs> so... He's really angry about that, and he wants to fight you after work now, because he wants to prove a point. This guy was massive. He was so big. That was a fun day for me. Yeah, not, not my best day. <laughs> He's not here? Oh, Daniel Gillies. Love Daniel Gillies. 
Actually, tell Joseph that I love Daniel Gillies. Um, and also, thank you for the chocolate you gave us on the autographs. Thank you for the... Chocolate that you gave us on the autograph. Oh, the chocolate was great. I got given the chocolate, so I shared the chocolate with you. It was good. <laughs> and could you say, have you ever confused your real life with fiction? Have I ever confused... Have you ever confused your real life with fiction? Yes. Yes, once. I was working on Supernatural, another TV show. Yeah. Has anyone ever heard of it? Uh, and I was doing a scene with the two main actors from Supernatural, um, Jensen and Jared, right? Yes, but the problem is, I used to watch the show. So the first time that I did a scene with them, it was very, very bizarre because I didn't know if it was real or if I jumped into the twilight zone and I was like, wait, uh, am I acting or has this become real? Because I used to watch the show so much. So there was a split second where I was like, oh, no, no, you gotta act, this is not real, okay, yeah. And I got back into the scene, but it was kind of really strange. It'd be like you coming on our set and you have to be someone and all of a sudden we're acting like vampires. You'd be like, whoa, what's going on? Thank you, we love you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to translate that because there's some people asking for translations. Uh, oh. Le han preguntado si alguna vez he confundido la realidad con la ficción y lo que ha dicho es que él siempre había sido un fan de Supernatural y cuando estuvo en la serie tuvo una escena con los dos protagonistas y cuando se encontró dentro de la escena tuvo un momento de confundir porque había visto tanto la serie que no sabía si estaba realmente dentro de la serie en realidad o estaba actuando o qué estaba pasando. Question. Hi Nate, I'm Nuria and we met at uh, the Autographs. Yes, you're going to ask me about my experience in Iraq. Yes, please. Uh, do you know how I knew that? Sorry? Do you know how I knew that? No. I'm a vampire, I can read your mind. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, so in November of last year, um, does anyone follow me on Instagram? Yes. Here's a more important question. Who doesn't follow me on Instagram? Ah. I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah. Constructive criticism. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Not enough selfies? Um, so I went to Iraq, for some of you who saw last year. I was really, really affected by um, the crisis that's happening in our world right now with refugees. And I remember seeing... Uh, the video of the young boy Umran who was from Aleppo had just been in an airstrike and he was sitting in the back of an ambulance completely covered in blood, confused, dazed and I think the thing that, that broke my heart most was you saw the innocence of this child so corrupted, you know, he had blood on his hand and he put his hand on the seat for a moment and then he felt bad for putting blood on a seat and I felt bad that our society, our world has allowed something like that to happen and it broke my heart. And I remember being in my apartment in Los Angeles and crying and thinking, what can I do for this situation, you know? Um, so I prayed about it a lot, you know, and I said to God, I really, really want to get involved and I need your help to help me. And I remember it was kind of fascinating because I prayed about finding an organization that helps the people in Syria and Aleppo and in Iraq and um, within an hour, I came across an organization called Preemptive Love, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, if you don't follow Preemptive Love on Instagram, I would really urge you to do that today. It's really simple, it's at Preemptive Love. Um, do you want to translate or? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm leaving, see you. Ah. Bye. <laughs> I was good. <laughs> It's so cool. What do you think, guys? It's cool. All right. Okay, then. I'm leaving. See you. Bye. <laughs> no, no, that's the script. Someone got sad. They thought I was being real. Good actor. Good actor. No. My children. All right. Are we going again? Yeah, we're going to record it now. Yeah, we're going to record it now. So nervous. I can do this. Gosh. Oh my gosh, did you see me learning my lines? 
Okay, here we all go again. Come on, man. Who do you want to fool? I'm going to say it into this mic, yeah? No, no, I'm telling you, I'm fine. Come on, man. No, really, I am perfectly fine. Yeah, sure, have you seen the mirror? Have you seen the mirror? No, I'm perfectly fine. Leave me alone, I'm fine. Well, well, well. Okay. I'm leaving, see you. Bye. I am so bad. How do I do this for a living? It's much easier as Carl Michaelson, I promise you. Now we're going to listen to it. Oh my gosh. I don't want to watch. No, no, Come on, man. Who do you want to fool? Oh, really? I'm fine. Yeah, sure. Have you seen the mirror? No, really. I'm perfectly fine. Come on, spit it out. Leave me alone. I'm fine. Okay, then I'm leaving. See you. Bye. <laughs> wow. Wow. And that was the last day Nathaniel Bozolic ever acted. <laughs> Career finished. Thank you for that. Thank you to you. Oh, guys, have I got any more time or am I out of time? I got four more minutes. I got a couple more minutes. I got ten more minutes. Let's get more questions. <laughs> Thank you, David. And thank you for doing my voice so much better than I do. <laughs> Cole I Michelson. Cole right. Vino. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else? Meh. Meh. Ah, if Danielle Campbell was here right now. Uh, thank you, guys. Yes. Yes. Question. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Gemma. She's Anna. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. So my question is, if Cole had to choose between Davina and his brothers, what will he choose and why? Let me answer so this. Paid. Let me say this. Have you ever seen Cole kiss Elijah? Have you ever seen Cole kiss Klaus? No. <laughs> that could happen today. Um, <laughs> could you imagine how uncomfortable Joseph would get? If, I mean, this is what you should do. We have a Q and A in the afternoon. Yeah. The first question should be this. Would Klaus kiss Cole? And I'll be real serious, and let's just see how Joseph feels about it. It's a good question. Um, no, nah, I'd choose Davina every single time. Every time. Hey, always and forever with Davina. Thank you. No worries. Davina's never daggered me. Kiss, marry and kill with Daniel, Joseph and Charles. Daniel, Joseph and Charles. Yes. Okay. I would... I'd marry Joseph. Ooh. He seems the most committed. I'd kiss Gillies. Sorry, Charles. I have to look after my family. Do not share that with anybody. Out of context, that is very strange. <laughs> Thank okay. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have you guys had a good day today? Yeah. Yes. So guys, I just want to say one more thing while we're going through this. If you see anybody today that's sitting by themselves or they're alone or they don't have anyone to hang out with, please go up to them and introduce them into your group and let them be involved in whatever you're doing. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but I would love for you guys to show as much love as to other people in this place as you possibly can. Can you do that for me? Yeah.
Pide que espera que espera que vayáis pasados todos un buen día. If I could revive? Yes. What do you mean? Like bring back to life? Like resurrect. Ah. Oh, probably Finn. He hasn't had. Davina. Oh yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah, Davina. Oh yeah. If I brought Davina back to life, I could make out with Davina. That makes a lot of sense. No spin jet, no spin jet, no spin jet. No, no. For those of you who don't understand, how do you say no spin jet in uh, Spanish? Okay, uh, no thrusting. <laughs> how do you say this? <laughs> In Italian? No, uh, no. Spinge. But what's what's thrusting? Like, like, what's the context? Thrusting. Just thrusting. Uh, just, Movement just, of the forward. Just, yeah. Let's say pushing. No pushing. Uh, sin golpes de cadera. Oh, no, 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 no. Sin <laughs> golpes. Golpes de cadera. De cadera. Si golpes de cadera. De cadera. Eh, eh, eh. Si golpes de cadera. No speech, no see, go past that area. No question. For those of you who don't know the story, in uh, season three of Originals, episode 14 possibly, there was a love scene between Cole and Davina. Remember? When she takes his top off, the back, everything's going on, kissy kissy. What you didn't see was this. The scene continued, and then made it on air. But what happened was Cole picks up Davina. Thrusting! No thrusting! No spinche. No spinche. Because I didn't realize that in the love making, I, my hips were moving and I forgot I'm an actor. I was playing a character who was making love to his girlfriend. But unfortunately, it was too sexy and they didn't put it on the show. So you never got to see the no spinche. No. Sin golpes de cadera. Sin golpes para bebea. So yes, there's a new rule. No thrusting. And I made that rule in my photo ops when people come up and they say uh, big to big, uh, eyes to eyes, da 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 da. No thrusting. No. It's banned. Okay, next question. Question. Um, first of all, can you please say hello to my friend Marta because she wasn't able to come today. Where's Marta? She wasn't able to come today. Why? I don't know. Well, I, want, I don't want to explain here. Is she, are you recording this? Yes. Good. Marta. Oh, who's recording this? Marta, I just want to say hello. I'm disappointed you're not here. The funny thing is, is before I came on stage, I said if Marta is here today, I'm going to pretend she's Davina and just yeah. make out with her. But you didn't come, so I can't do it. And I know people say, my name's Marta, my name's Marta. I wanted that specific Marta. So unfortunately, it's not going to happen. <laughs> my name is Marta. <laughs> uh, 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 Joseph Morgan, everybody. It's time. It's time. Here we go. Not a single word. How quiet can we get? How quiet can we get? Let's play Sleeping Lions. Nobody moves. We, we go around tickling you and you have to keep really still. <laughs> oh, questions. Oh. That's the thing. I knew there was something we were supposed to be doing. I was going to get them really quiet so you could say something really powerful. Ah, oh, well, the pressure's on now. I love this. Guys, shh. Not a noise. Not a noise. Speak. I'll spinge you. Okay. Shh. Oh, I'm just 
trying to think which one of my catchphrases. <laughs> and let's be honest, they are catchphrases. Great catchphrases. Oh, that's really, oh, that's really something like that, eh? Uh, <laughs> Guys, you're okay. Here we go. Here we go. Shh. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> well, next question. <laughs> oh, that was that it? Next question. <laughs> Is cold? <laughs> it, it definitely worked. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And, and tune in for season five because you never know what's going to happen. The gloves are off. <laughs> the gloves are off. Yeah. The lipstick is on. That's right. I am Marta. <laughs> that one. No. No. Would you accept a hug? We yeah. can hug. I mean, do, do we have to? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hopefully nobody was recording that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> In a sea of phones. <laughs> oh. Okay, gosh. All right, get out of here. Next question. Get out of here. Hello, Joseph, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you, do you like Davina for coal? Do I like Davina for coal? No. 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 Why? Uh, I think he needs someone more mischievous. And uh, that would complain to his bad side. She, she, she made him too honest and honourable. And I, I feel Ooh. like, you know, speaking as Klaus, I, I feel like you want someone who kind of like gets him going a little more. He's a little more crazy. Plays into that side a little more. Like Sheriff Forbes. <laughs> uh, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> no. Yeah. Ah. Oh, spoiler alert. I'm so sorry to break this to you. Maybe Mayor Lockwood would... Oh, wait a minute. Mayor Lockwood, oh. Didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Next! Next! <laughs> we should act like our characters. I mean, I spend like so many months of the year doing that. It's nice to have a little... Next! <laughs> Well, my question is, which actor or actress of the Vampire Diaries would you like him or her to be in the originals? It doesn't matter if it's dead or alive. Uh, who would we like to bring from the Vampire Diaries to the yes. originals? I feel like this is a loaded question, that there's an answer that I'm supposed to say. <laughs> you ever feel like that, like you're being kind of led towards something? Entrapment? <laughs> Entrapment kind of feel. It doesn't matter if they're dead. Yes. Uh, then... Definitely Sheriff Forbes. Yeah, Sheriff because Forbes. Cole, let me tell you. Cole and Sheriff Forbes. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Next question. Hi. Um, can you dance the Macarena? <laughs> Absolutely not. Please, please. Next. Next question. <laughs> up with or you think you will end up dead because you have all the possibility to do that in the, in the originals <laughs> I mean I, he's probably gonna end up dead isn't he I mean he's, he's he, he invites trouble every every turn you know I don't know I don't know I like to think that there's a happy ending there for old Klaus but I don't think it, it's <laughs> gonna happen but a happy ending with with hope Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I think she said with hope. Oh, with hope? Yeah. Oh, I thought she said Cole. Nah. Oh. Listen, mate, it's not going to end well for Cole. Oh. I'll tell you that now. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I've been talking to producers. Have you? Pushing. Say, listen. Revival. Do something about Nathaniel. Yeah. Do something. It's him or me. <laughs> and uh, they fired me, so <laughs> didn't work out. How didn't I was work out. Planning, but you know, yeah. good news for you. Yeah, Jimmy Smith is actually playing uh, Klaus in uh, season five. It's good. It's good. We're having a recast. <laughs> recast. <laughs> Next question. 
You have a trampoline? Um, we are celebrating her birthday. And our question is that um, do you uh, follow the series in your free time? Do you watch it? The originals? Yes. Yes, I have to. Because uh, I need it to see if, like, if I need to, you know, it's, it's how you can see, like, oh, I wasn't really doing what I thought I was doing there, or, you know, it helps to improve, to watch it. And then also, I, I, I like it. I think, uh, you know, I, I want to support uh, the, the show. And so, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I watch every episode. Okay, thank you. Sure. Next question. It's more, much more polite. <laughs> there you go. Next Hi. question. Hi there. Uh, well, my sister is pregnant and she is. It wasn't uh, me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, she is uh, in this room and I would like to know. I wasn't here in Barcelona in April. <laughs> I want Proof. to know if uh, next year my niece will be able to meet you. Here. Well, if she wants to meet her daddy, I guess that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> that's inappropriate. That's hey, inappropriate. Let's, let's be honest. Um, maybe, I don't know, we have to see if we invite her. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Hey, if, it's, it's a girl? Yes. It's going to be a girl? Yes. Natalia is a beautiful name. <laughs> uh, Josephine. Josephine. <laughs> Next question. A little, a little dated. <laughs> question. Hi, I am Iris. Um, what character in general you would like to play you have not played yet? What? Did you understand the question? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I would like to play uh, a cop who was also a vampire. Wow. And he had a partner who was a cop who was also, also a vampire. vampire. Let me ask you guys something. Do you like vampires? Yes! Do you like cop shows? Yes. Not, not <laughs> easy, easy, easy. You're gonna bloody love vamp cops. Vamp cops. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Two vampires, they're cops. Cops. That's as far as we've got. Yeah. No, 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 we have more. We have more. We have more. There's uh, a canine unit and it's not dogs, it's not men with dogs, it's wolves. So the men are the dogs. Genius. Genius. It works. They're loving it. So. I think they like it. Vamp uh, Cops, Canine Unit, the St. Louis Steakhouse. Do we have anything else? Uh, yeah. We're talking to Jimmy Smith, we, the chief. Yeah, Jimmy Smith. We also have bank accounts with the Bank of Transylvania. Oh, very good. I actually went to Romania and there is a bank of Transylvania and I... The police, they're here for you. <laughs> and when I went past the Bank of Transylvania, I was so tempted to open a bank account. So when I was in Los Angeles, I was like, oh, I'll pay with my uh, with this card. <laughs> bank of Transylvania, I want to suck your blood. I want to make a withdrawal of blood. Man, you should have at least had a photo. Of I know. I know. It's a missed opportunity. I, I'm going back. God, that would have been Instagram gold. Yeah. Is, it, is it worth going back just for the photo? I, I say, I say we leave now. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, what else are we doing? I know. <laughs> next, next. Thanks, guys. Enjoy Barcelona. Thank you. Thank you. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> oh. Hi. Hello. Uh, hello, my name is Mireia. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here in my city, in Barcelona. And I didn't my... realize you owned it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for yeah, having us. Yeah. And by the way, yeah. congratulations yeah. on a beautiful nice city. city right? You've yeah. done an amazing job. I mean, really. Yeah, right? <laughs> my yeah. question is for, for Nate. Uh, one of Next! The... <laughs> no, I'm sorry, please. In the morning, I question you, Joseph, so now it's for Nate. I'm one just going to of... listen and learn. <laughs> You're jealous. A little. Okay. 
So one of my biggest uh, um, hobbies is uh, and passions, I would say, is photography. Yes. So since when you love photography and what brings you photography in your life? Well, that's two questions really, but... Oh, uh, <laughs> Yes. Yes, uh, okay, so the first thing, uh, I love photography because I travel a lot, but I'm so often by myself. So when I was, yeah. <laughs> so when I was traveling by myself, I would always feel a little bit lonely and not really have much purpose. But my travel buddy, I always feel like I have someone with me or something to do. So it always inspired me to wake up, go and take photos. And I guess the more I took photos, the more I realized that photography tells such great stories. So when I take photos, I like to share a story. And it's interesting to see that you could share the same photo with seven different people, and seven different people will have seven different messages from that photo. So I think it just has such power to share. So I love photography now, and I want to share as many stories as I can, you know? His photos are actually annoyingly good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're good. pretty good. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Next question. <laughs> You're not the good cop in the bad cop. It's not good cop, bad cop. You're the bad cop, I'm the good cop. That's not... Hi, we are in wait, 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 what city do you own? Because <laughs> we just spoke to the mayor of Barcelona. We don't want to downgrade from that. I'm from here, from Catalonia. You're from Catalonia? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Continue. Yes, with Maria and Leire, and we love you so much. And we have a question for you. <laughs> what, what was the funniest moment you had together? Oh, for both of us. Yes. The funniest moment we had together. This moment right now. <laughs> in the present. Yes. We are living in right now. This moment. This is happening. <laughs> you can watch it on TV right yeah. now. Yeah. Live. 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 We're going on live. Less. In three, no, we're, we're live now. Oh, we're live. Hey, we're live in Barcelona and uh, I'm... Good evening, we're live from Barcelona. <laughs> Break, breaking news, the mayor of Barcelona is currently in a convention center. <laughs> she's a huge fan. Of the Vampire Diaries. She's done a terrific, and you know, she's, she's watched one or two of the originals. Fix is all right. Fix is all right. It's good. Loves photography. Yep. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, quite excited question. about this question. Hi, I'm Laura. Hi. I'm Dalia. And the question is for Josep. Well, he's here, so that works. <laughs> Just relax for a second. Yeah, I'll take a break. Yes. <laughs> Why did you stop doing uh, videos promotion on the TV show in Instagram? Why did you stop doing this? Oh, the promotional videos? Well, for two reasons. Uh, one is because are you finished yet? Okay. I've got well, two reasons. Just let me, I'll, I'll, let me know when you're finished. Good. <laughs> One is because uh, this time, for the first time, uh, while the show was airing, we were not shooting the show. So I was not with the other cast, and I was not uh, in the costume and everything to do the promotional videos. And then secondly is because uh, I wanted to have more of a break from uh, social media. You know, to give myself a bit of distance because sometimes, you guys know, it's I'm, I'm the same as well. It can get a little crazy where you're just all, your head is in your phone. I feel like there's a question coming on from a very excited young man in the audience. Excuse me, excuse me, I have a question. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for uh, Joseph, please. Yes, you, the, the odd-looking youngster there. I, I love you very much. You're a very big, Thank in, you. big inspiration to me. I want to ask you a question about... Um, what is the... Um, uh, if you could kiss Cole... <laughs> I forgot, <sir. laughs> well, I got a question for you. Yes. You know, you see, you should have thought about it before you ran oh, all the way through. I thought about it. You built it up to this point. I'm nervous. It's nervous in this position. I didn't realize how hard it I was. I know. The pressure's on now. Okay. What do you think Daniel Gillies is doing right now? And should we FaceTime him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I don't have my phone because I'm a professional. I do. But they... If we do this, guys, we're going to pretend we're now. Why have you still got him as Daniel Vampire Diaries? <laughs> it's been five years. Really? <laughs> what am I in? What am I under? Uh, Look me up now. <laughs> I want to know what I'm under. Am Wait, I under Joseph Vampire Diaries? I think you might be. Okay, it's, it's ringing. If Daniel Gillies picks this up, He's not going to pick yeah, up. Yeah, because it's it? like four in the morning or something. <laughs> You're that guy now. He's like, who's, he, it's, who's this? Oh, you don't have my number? Oh. <laughs> Unavailable. Unavailable. So. There you go. And hey, we try it. Ten points for trying. We try. I have a question for you, Nate. Yes, yes. What are the 20 most useful things you've learned from me over the last five years. Oh, wow. Now, let's go, let's go to these guys' questions. <laughs> okay. You can tell me later in the form of an email. <laughs> yes. Question. Nate, tell me generous because you know that I will always love you more than you love Whoppers. <laughs> more than you love she waffles. loves me more than I love Waffles. I love Waffles. I have a waffle for breakfast every morning. Ah, good. Is there a question? No, just a statement. Love that. <laughs> question. Love that. Maybe it was a question. I will always love you more than I love you. Love waffles. Waffles. <laughs> yes. Hi, my name is Ruth. Uh, soy de Paraguay, and lo que quisiera saber si habrá más de col. Yeah, look. True, it's true. Do you want me to take this question? <laughs> yep. I have no idea what you said. Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. If Cole will come back. Oh. If Cole's going to come back in this season. This season. I didn't next even, season. I didn't even understand what you said. <laughs> If Cole's coming back next next season, oh, if Cole's coming what back he says season. is, is Cole going to come back next season? I'm trying my hardest to make sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> but he is a resilient. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see. Who wants to Probably. see Cole back next season? I would say that's at least a quarter of them. That's a quarter of the room. It's enough. One in four. So. One in four. Excuse me. It's, it's time. It's time. Yeah. Oh, and stay this time. Oh, I will. <laughs> Until it's my last episode. <laughs> Not getting you a cake. Oh, I want a cake. Next question. Question. Uh, Joseph, te gusta te gusta como padre, en su faceta de padre. Do you like uh, yes. uh, the way of being a father? <laughs> you know, uh, he's, uh, some of it, he's very protective and I like that. Uh, but I'm not sure why he's the best influence for her. So, uh, yeah, he has his moments, but <laughs> not all of it. Thank you. I can't believe Daniel Gillies was sleeping. <laughs> uh, hello, Joseph. Can you say hello to my friend Bea? Because she's crying and she's love you. She love you really, really, really much. She's so shy. Hello. <laughs> you okay? Um, okay? Is it true you love me really, really, really much? <laughs> Thank you. Aww. I love you too. Uh, oh, don't tack that on. <laughs> By the way, you're not crying. <laughs> I am. I cry only for you, Nate. You cry for me? Yeah. Always. Good. I what? frequently cry for Nate. 
Could you do me a favour? Of course. Next time you cry, collect those tears and then offer to them to me as a gift. You, come here. Yes, you. Come here, quick, 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 quick. I want to give you a hug. Because you love me so much. And I want you to cry so I can take your tears. Thank you, thank you. Go and cry. Well, what you don't know is he was surreptitiously collecting her tears right then. Yes. It's, he's a peddler of tears. Every witch knows that three tears can make some great stuff. He has power over you now. Yes. He's got your tears. Yes. Do you have a question? If not, we have to finish the panel. Yeah, I do. Um, what was the death, like the two ones that um, did hurt you the most? The two deaths? Yeah. That hurt me the most? Yeah. Um, <laughs> think about it. I, th I mean, they've all been great. Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably uh, one time... There was that time I killed Cole, yeah. and as I was daggering him, he stepped on my foot. And I was like, ah, that hurt a <laughs> So there was that. And um, then uh, when, I, when I drowned uh, Mayor Lockwood Oof. in the fountain, Too soon. I was wearing a really nice suit, and I got water <laughs> all over it. Too soon. It was wet for about 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> And it, was, it got a little uncomfortable, it kind of rubbed in places, Yeah. so, so that hurt as well. Yeah. And you know what? I think she tried to apologise in her own way, because I remember when she was floating, she was like, yeah, there was an apology there, for getting your suit wet. Ah, oh, gosh. Next question. Thank you. There are no next questions, so I'm very sorry, but we have to finish the panel here. Thank you very much, Nathaniel Buzanet. Thank you. We just don't leave, we just stay here. So, next question. Next question. Hey guys, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. When Daniel Gillies gets back to me, I'll say you said hello. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you everybody tomorrow.